Welcome to this Ripcaster video. We are based in the UK and specialise in digital audio and video streaming. We sell a range of audio and video equipment and associated products, including the complete QNAT range. Call 0118 321 8292 or email info at ripcaster.co.uk for more information and pricing. This video demonstrates how to install Logitech Media Server on a virtual machine running on a QNAP NAS. We are using a QNAP TS253A but the instructions should work on any Intel based NAS. Our NAS is already built with the latest firmware installed 4.3.3.0378 at the time of recording. Log in to the QNAP administrative interface using a browser. Open up the App Center and install Virtualization Station. On completion, the Virtualization Station proceed with the automatic installation of the Virtual Network Switch. Once completed, you will see the apps di displayed in the App Center. Next, we're going to download Ubuntu Desktop. You can use a non-GUI Ubuntu server OS if you are comfortable using the command line. Open up Ubuntu.com in a browser window and select Downloads and Desktop. Download version 16.04.3 LTS. Next we're going to create some shares on the QNAP. The first is for the Ubuntu ISO image that we've just downloaded. We'll name that share ISO. The second is for the virtual machine hard drives we're going to create and we'll call that VM. Open the QNAP control panel, click shared folders, click create and fill out the details for each share. Once created, you can access the shares from Windows File Explorer. Open the ISO folder. You'll be prompted for the QNAP credentials. Now copy the, I now copy the Ubuntu ISO image downloaded earlier to the ISO share. Now we're ready to create a new Ubuntu virtual machine. Open up Virtualization Station. Click on Create VM. Give the VM a name, ULMS in our case, and a suitable description. Select Ubuntu as the OS from the drop down list. For the CD image, select the ISO file just copied to the ISO share. Set the location of the HDD for the VM to the VM share we created earlier. Set a VNC password so that we'll be able to access the Ubuntu desktop. Click OK when all done. Next we're going to start the virtual machine. You will be prompted for the VNC password just created. We now go through a standard Ubuntu install within the virtual machine environment. 
click install Ubuntu. Tick the download updates and install third party software option. Erase the disk and install the button. Continue to write changes to disk. Select your time zone and keyboard layout. Enter a username and give the operating system a name, ULMS in our case. Wait whilst the installation completes. Then hit the restart button when prompted. We can now log in to the Ubuntu OS with the username and password created earlier. First things we'll tidy up the, how shall we say, clutter. We are now going to download Logitech Media Server using Firefox within the virtual machine. Open up Firefox browser from the Ubuntu side menu. Navigate to downloads.slimdevices.com forward slash nightly. Choose the version you need. We're going to use 7.9. Download the version Debian installer package ending underscore all dot deb. Save the file to disk. Once the download is completed, open terminal and check you see the file. Note that the file name updates on a daily basis, so yours will be different. Change to the home folder and then install the Logitech Media Server using the command sudo space dpkg space minus i and then the path to the actual download file.
We also need to install two additional packages. Install lame with sudo space apt hyphen get space install space lame. And then we also need an additional package for file systems called sifutils and we'll install that using sudo space apt space sudo space apt hyphen get space install space sif hyphen utils.
We want to be able to access the media stored on the multimedia share on the QNAP from within the Ubuntu Virtual Machine. Within Terminal, make the mount point multimedia using the command sudo space mkdir space forward slash mnt forward slash multimedia. Note this is case sensitive. In our example, our host name is ts253a. You'll need to change that host name on the following command to suit your environment. We're going to mount the multimedia folder within the QNAP environment to the mount point that we've just created on the Ubuntu. We do that using the command sudo space mount minus t space cifs space minus o username equals admin comma password equals admin space forward slash forward slash ts253a dot local forward slash multimedia space forward slash mnt forward slash multimedia we can now test that that worked as expected by listing the folder slash mount slash multimedia and we can see our music files within Ubuntu if we jump back to Windows and open up Windows File Explorer at the same location we see the same folders next we're going to configure Logitech Media Server Using Firefox within the Ubuntu Virtual Machine, navigate to the local host port 9000. You will see the setup wizard start. Select the music and playlist folders as forward slash MNT forward slash multimedia. Click on the settings at the bottom right of the screen. Click on the rescan button on the basic settings page to index the music. Click on the information tab to display the server version and also the IP address the server is using. One seven two dot thirty one dot one dot eighteen R instance. You can also check the Ubuntu IP address using the command line. Note that this address is different from the actual QNAP itself. Dot thirty six in our case. You should now be able to access the Logitech Media Server from any browser. Open a new tab in the browser and navigate to the IP address of the Ubuntu Virtual Machine and the port nine thousand. We're almost done now. Just pop back to Virtualization Station, click on Settings on the Virtual Machine, scroll down to Auto Start and set the Retain Previous State. This will allow the Ubuntu OS to be stop started with the QNAP. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please get in contact if you need any of the products and services available at ripcaster.co.uk, including the complete QNAP range. Thanks for watching.